This lecture is going to continue on with our assignment here. Now we're going to talk about how you're going to analyze the sample, okay, what that's going to entail, and then how you're going to generate the scatter plot for this. Okay, so first off, the first thing it's going to say there is uh, discuss how your regional sample created is reflective of the national market. And what they want you to do is they want you to compare and contrast uh, your sample with the population using, so you're going to click on this document. And what this is, is this has the, um, the, the population data here from this national statistics and graph document for, if you look here, the median listing price, the median price per square foot, and the median square foot. So your numbers, this document will be the same in your class, but what will be different will be the numbers you have from your Excel file, right? So like mine, my numbers are different because I picked the West South Central region and then did a random sample. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna look at the mean, the median, and the standard deviation, okay, for all of these, and compare them to the values that are posted here. So I'll do that, for example, just for the median square foot, okay? So look, the median square foot of the population of these houses in the United States is 1944, but if you look here, mine was 2057, so mine's a little higher. The median was 1901, and mine, mine was 1990, so it's a little higher again. And then the standard deviation you see here is 365, 367, but now my standard deviation is smaller. So I'm going to leave it up to you to think about, um, is a random sample from one region in the United States reflective of, going back to the question, reflective of the national market? So what I'm saying here is, is this sample here just from the west, south, central reflective of the national market? Probably not. You know, so even though some of our values were pretty close, it's it's probably not really reflective. Next, it says explain how you made sure that the sample is random. Well, again, what I did was is I used this random number generator function in Excel and had Excel randomly selected for them. So it is a it is absolutely random because we use the equals ran function in Excel. Okay, next what it says is create a scatter plot of the X and Y variables. Okay, noted above, and then let's also include a trend line in it. So just remember here, okay, what your X variable is is the median square feet, and what your Y variable is is the median listing price. Okay, so I'm going to go back here. Notice how this is where it gets a little confusing for this. If you were to just, as, as I've seen in a previous video here, just select these like this, and go insert scatter plot, you'd get something that looks like this. Okay, but what you'll notice here is this scatter plot is backwards. Right? It has median square footage as the y-axis and the median listing price as the x-axis, which is backwards. Okay. So if you don't want to move the Excel, if you don't want to you know cut this and move it over here, what you can do is just click on an empty cell, click insert, and under charts. Just click scatter and you'll get a blank one. All right. What you'll do next is you'll right click in here and you see this option called select data. It's also up here. Let's select our data. Okay. And what you're going to have to do is you're going to have where it says here, the legend series, you're going to have to click add. And it says, okay, what are your X values? So I'm going to click here. Oh, sorry. Click here. And what it's going to do is it's going to have you select your X values. And what I see here is my X values are my median square feet. So I'm going to start here and I'm going to scroll down and select those. Sorry for the little delay there. Now what I'm going to do for my Y values, I'm going to click here. I'm going to have to delete what's posted there and select the Y values here. And then you're just going to hit OK. And you'll notice here that this is your scatter plot right here that you want. So I'm going to clean it up a little bit. I'm going to notice I really don't need anything under 1,500 square feet. And it automatically adjusts it for us. And this is what you should see here as your nice scatter plot. So going back, the next thing it, it asks is um, an include a trend line. So what you're going to do is you're just going to click in the data and you're going to click add trend line. And we're going to include a linear one. What I'm also going to do is I'm going to click this display equation on chart and I'm going to close this and you'll see here that this is the regression line here. 
And I'm just going to change the chart title to um, assignment number two scatter plot. And I'll get it out of the way a little bit here of my regression equation. And this value, this first value here is the slope. And this negative value here is the intercept. And that's okay to get a negative intercept here. Okay, so just remember in regression, the slope uh, can be interpreted and the, the intercept has no meaningful interpretation. Okay, class, I'll follow this up with another, um, another lecture to go walking you through the final, final part of this.